When you're a kid, you can have a bit of fun digging in the dirt and trying to see what you can come up with. Our imaginations when we're little have no limits. The world is your oyster, and everything is possible at that age. When you get older, things tend to change a little bit. Jaded would be kind of a strong word, but at the same time, we all lose a bit of that childlike imagination that we once had. You won't find us digging in the dirt looking for anything amazing. This is a large bronze mask we unearthed from the central part of the number three ritual pit. We tend to know that there's probably not anything under that besides bottle caps and maybe a penny. But today, just like we love to do, we're going to flip that notion on its head and show you 15 amazing things that were found buried underground. Will we find an incredible dead body? Knowing us, it kind of seems likely, but let's just see what we turn up. You might want to get that shovel for this one. Ladder to nowhere. Like we said before, when it comes to this world, we've seen all types of things. Throughout the years doing these lists, there are just those discoveries that leave us scratching our heads in amazement. By now, we truly understand that anything is possible when it comes to our planet. And digging underground looking for something is no exception. Of course, you can let your imagination roam and you can dream up all sorts of things. But we never expected to find a ladder to nowhere. It's one of those spooky occurrences that you would most likely find in a horror-themed video game. But unfortunately for us, this is real life. So without further ado, let's see what this one's all about. Maybe we'll even use it to climb up something. Let's see first. This video shows a couple of people searching a cave when they stumble upon a hidden ladder that leads deep into an underground abyss. It's dark, it's dank, it's uncertain. Nobody quite knows why this ladder is there, and the people in the video are just perplexed. It kind of looks like it belongs in a Batman movie. Needless to say, we hope that these two made it out alive, because we wouldn't trust that ladder as far as we could throw it. Usually when you find a ladder that goes to an underground abyss, you go in the opposite direction. It was a coffin for the ages, but what scientists found inside this coffin shocked the whole world. We say it all the time, a picture speaks a thousand words, and this one right here? Well, we want to say that it speaks a million. Because no matter where you look, your brain is going to start wandering. It might even get a little scary, because if you look closely at this photo, first you see someone that looks like they're cowering in skeleton form. But then if you look closely and you move your eyes to its head, well, you see horns. And this isn't a skeletal body of an animal either. It seems like it's a skeletal body of a human being. Which begs the question, why does this person have horns? Was it some sort of demonic type of human being? These are all the questions that scientists are asking themselves today. Where was it located? No one wants to say. And right now, its exact location is even unknown. Lucky and unlucky for us, someone snapped this photo. This is the only evidence that we need to know that something sinister is behind this. When this person was alive, there had to be an evil presence associated with it. We just don't know it. But until scientists can do a better deep dive into this skeleton, we may never exactly know what the existence of this thing was, like when it was alive. And you know what? Maybe we don't want to know. We feel bad for the people that lived with this thing. But hey, maybe it wasn't a demon. Forest Fen Treasure Going back to what we said earlier about having an imagination as a kid, and you can still dream about digging through the dirt and finding something extraordinary. One of the top things that kids dream about, of course, is finding a treasure. There are so many movies about finding a lost treasure. There are so many themes in books about pirates discovering them at sea. There's just something magical about stumbling upon a chest with jewels inside of it. This is why it's usually a mechanic in a video game. You can expect a flurry of endorphins to come flooding out of your head when you stumble upon treasure chests in video games. Or, in this case, real life. Because now we move on to the Forest Fen treasure. It was a man named Forrest Fenn who hid treasure 10 years ago, and he said that someone found it. Back in the day, this man published a memoir called The Thrill of the Chase. It detailed a treasure chest that he hid in the Rocky Mountains, and it was supposedly worth around $3 million. This led to thousands of people trying to find its treasure. Some even died while trying to find it. So the man says that someone found it, but gives no details as to who it was. He also did a detail where it was. So, hypothetically, how do we even prove that the treasure existed in the first place? Now, if someone did find it, lucky them. It wasn't us, so we're not happy for them. Buried Car 
Don't worry about feeling a little bit blue now that we already spoke about an actual treasure being buried. There are still some fun ones on this list and it's kind of like a game show. When you go on a game show, you never quite know what prize you're going to get. That can honestly be just like digging through unknown dirt, and there aren't any limits to what you could find. Just think about this one scene where there was a buried car beneath the surface. See, you don't always need to take a car loan out to find one. This one kind of needed a car wash after. But let's see why this was buried in the first place. Hopefully, whosever car it was had insurance. It was a man who looked in his Yorkshire backyard and found the 1950s piece of history. It was a car from the era. To be specific, it was a Ford. When he first saw the dashboard and the steering wheel, he knew exactly what it was. From the looks of it in this video, there won't be any driving of this Ford. And with all their recalls today, we're not surprised. Ground Zero Ship 20 years ago, there was a catastrophe like no other. The Twin Towers were taken down by a terrible act and had since forever changed the world. Life changed all around New York. This wasn't the only cultural shift that happened after that. The way we fly airplanes in terms of security has changed. The way we get together in public spaces, it's changed as well. Even after 20 years, airlines have changed the way things work. There's still a lot of mystery that surrounds 9-11. For example, this 9-11 mystery ship. People are calling it the Ground Zero Ship. So what's it all about? Let's take a look. It's not every day that we get to look at a relic from a day that changed everything. It was a ship that was found by the World Trade Center. It was an old sailing ship. It was found back in 2010. They discovered that the ship had been buried there for 200 years, before the catastrophe. No one quite knows how it got there, but it was a cool artifact to find nonetheless. French Underground City So we've covered mystery ships and we've covered finding a car underneath the ground. And if this proves anything, it's that you never quite know what you're going to find underground. Sure, you can find some pretty big things. Well, what about finding an underground city? It sounds like a very far-fetched situation. You might think that you have to be a character in a movie to discover something like that. Or you just may think that stuff only happens to fictional characters. But the truth of the matter is, if you travel to France, you might come across your underground city. And this is because one was actually found. Sure, it sounds unbelievable. But you best believe it because it's true. Here's why. It's the underground city of Noros. But the confusing part about this city is that it's above ground. You can see in this video, there's a lot of history. Now the above ground part is what leads you to the underground part, and it's pretty spooky when you go down there. There's not much lighting, but it does feel like a whole nother world. Would you travel down here to check it out? Bomb Shelter Farm for decades, there have been people who planned for the end times. These people believe that the apocalypse is right around the corner. And because of this, they have done things like build shelter, stock up on canned foods, and get as many weapons as possible. They want to be fully prepared for when the sun explodes or a nuclear weapon goes off. In their mind, you can never be too prepared for what's to come tomorrow. But if you're still watching this channel, the likelihood is the fact that the end times have not arrived yet. This means that a lot of those bomb shelters never paid off. You might even find one or two still lying around. That's where we get to the bomb shelter farm. We call it this because it's not just a bomb shelter and it's not just a farm. It's a bomb shelter farm. Now it can also be dubbed the world's first subterranean farm. This all happened because two men set out to build a farm in central London. They used the space from an air raid shelter that had been abandoned. So this is how they mixed the farm with the shelter. And it's pretty cool to see. A little unnecessary if you ask us, but cool as well. Santa Claus Grave When it comes to digging on the ground or searching places that have not been searched before, you're bound to come across something that doesn't meet the norm. We're talking about things that are completely out there that you wouldn't expect to find. After all, that's where this list comes into play. We wouldn't be bringing ordinary things like bottle caps being found on the ground. No, no, we want to take things further. But because of our knack to take things further, when you come across some things that are kind of grim, if you're a fan of Christmas, this may not be the one for you, because we found Santa Claus's grave. You heard us right. This is going to be a pretty dark Christmas. Located in Turkey, you'll find St. Nicholas's Church. St. Nicholas is what Santa is based on. It's not as grim as we made it out to be, but this is said to be the resting place of St. Nicholas. So technically, this is where Santa's buried. See, we didn't lie to you completely, but you definitely won't be seeing any elves around here. 
But if you do, definitely let us know in the comments. Hell Steaming The beautiful thing about our world today is how many different skills people have. No matter where you go in the world, you'll find someone with a unique talent. Sure, the talent may not be juggling or riding a unicycle perfectly, but you don't have to look far to find someone who can do something better than you can. Going hand in hand with skills is also a technique. Take for instance cooking. You can either grill something or you can steam something. But we're going to focus on the latter part of that sentence. Because we're going to move on to something called hell steaming. We guarantee that you probably haven't heard about this one yet. Well, that's what we're here for. If you pay attention to this video, you all know that something is very out of the ordinary. There's a lot of steam. But this is known as the Jigoku Mushi Kobo Steam Center. It kind of reminds us of the food trucks in Manhattan, except there's a lot more steam coming out of these. Call us crazy, but we would love to try some of this food. There's just something about a little bit of steam that makes food taste all the better. Buried Alive It wouldn't be a list about burying things without facing our fears a little bit. When you think about burying something, it usually doesn't come with a positive connotation. After all, no one thinks of it as a cemetery and then imagines cold things. Or better yet, they don't imagine happy things. Instead, you think about things like death. You think about things like a loss. Even when dogs bury something, it's not a positive thing. They're doing it to hide it, or they're doing it to save it for later. We don't know what the purpose of a dog burying something in the backyard is, but that's not the point. The point is when it comes to burying something, a lot of people have a fear associated with it. We're talking about being buried alive. Who hasn't been scared of this at least once in their life? But the one person that has no fear of this, or at least seems like they have no fear, is David Blaine. This magician is known for doing all types of crazy stunts. He even flew across the sky just by hanging on to some balloon. But years ago, he was known for being buried alive. It's one of his stunts, and he did it. It was in 1999 and he was only 25 at the time, inspired by Houdini. This is now one of those things that will go down in history to rid people of the fear that they can be buried alive and survive. But we definitely don't recommend it. Video games. We spoke about treasure earlier on this list, and we did so because the theme of this list is finding things that are buried in the ground. The prospect of finding a treasure on the ground is downright euphoric. It's what a lot of people dream about doing. As we said before, a lot of children imagine themselves stumbling upon a secret treasure. This again is why it's a mechanic in a video game. Well, we love to segue into things because finding a treasure isn't only a mechanic in a video game, but sometimes the video game could be the treasure itself. You'll see what we mean, and then you'll kind of be impressed by our segue. It was almost like a joke, but hundreds of copies of the world's worst video game had been dug up in New Mexico. It was a game produced by Atari. It was even blamed for the partial collapse of the video game industry in the 1980s. The name of the game was E.T. the Extraterrestrial. There were 5 million copies of these games, and they were buried in the New Mexico desert. At least the movie was good. Mysterious Caves We've pretty much gone over everything that you can find on the ground. Of course, there are a million cliches when it comes to digging for things like that. And of course, you can always use your imagination to imagine some other things beneath the dirt. But don't be surprised if you find something like a cave when you're digging. This is exactly what happened with this next story. But what's fascinating about these caves is that they happen to be mysterious. Who doesn't love a good mystery? Well, we do. So let's explore these caves and pretend we're Pokemon trainers. Maybe we'll find a few Pokemon while we're down there. Okay, maybe that's a little far-fetched, but let's explore anyway. Near a small village in China, there's a cave system like no other. It has an extensive and magnificent underground world that is considered in China the ninth wonder of the ancient world. The craziest part about this is that there are no records of its creation. It covers around 30,000 square meters. That's a lot of space to be unknown. Maybe one day, someone will figure out how it got created. But until then, we just have to marvel at it. Turkish City Remember earlier on in this list when we mentioned a French underground city? It was a pretty extraordinary thing to find. It's like finding the lost city of Atlantis. No matter what you're exploring, you never expect to find an entire city somewhere. Cities are usually sitting above ground, and of course, they're usually on maps already. But now and then, you strike lightning twice. This time, we move to a Turkish underground city. There are many similarities to the city that we mentioned before, but this one is very unique. 
It belongs in a movie, and maybe one day it will be in one. But until then, we're just going to have to talk about it. Underneath the country of Turkey, there was an underground city discovered when one man decided to renovate his home. All he was doing was trying to fix up his home by knocking down a wall, and he stumbled upon an entryway that led him to the city. Of course, this happened because of an excavation of the area. It wasn't just knocking down the wall, but still, it was a hell of a discovery. Dragon Babies in the last decade, there has been a very popular show called Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones details a fictional world that contains things like castles, soldiers, kings, and a lot of drama. Around the world, people have flocked to the show and created such a fandom that other shows have tried to replicate the success. It's one of those series that has transcended its genre. There have been parodies, rip-offs, and everything in between. Not only does it always succeed in the very popular books that came before it, but it was successful in many of the tropes and characters that come along in the show. One of the most popular things in the show happens to be the dragons. Now you wouldn't think the dragons exist, but with this next story, we're going to move on to dragon babies. They're called Olms, and they're super rare. They also happen to be a tiny, blind, and cave-dwelling creature. You can find them in Europe. They're also on the red list of threatened species. Some nicknames they have include human fish. One amazing thing is that they have organs in their head that can sense prey. It's almost like having a spidey sense. They do kind of look like dragons if you look at them up close. They may not be Game of Thrones style dragons, but they're incredible creatures despite that. Who knows, maybe one day they will breathe fire and take out a castle. Witch Marks we here at the channel love spooky finds. It just makes life a lot more interesting when you know that there is something spooky out there. It keeps things unpredictable. It allows you to go back to that imagination we spoke about earlier on. It's always good to keep things fun, but at the same time when things get spooky, that's when you might want to worry. Because just imagine coming across witch marks. First of all, no one wants to deal with having a real witch exist in our world. But it seems someone found the remnants of a real life witch. This makes the movie The Blair Witch Project look like kids play. If you're not too scared, let's take a look at what's going on. This comes from medieval times when witches' marks were engraved on buildings, usually in doorways and hearts. This was to ward off evil spirits. The name for these marks is Apotropaic. But no matter what the actual name of this is, it's still pretty creepy. We hope we never come across something like this in a cave. Not that we dwell in caves anyway. Giant Gold Masks and finally, on our list, we may have loved to talk about treasure, but this one is the true treasure. Because what some people found happened to be giant gold masks. Let's just say someone's going to be running to the antique roadshow with this one. This bronze mask that you're looking at is reportedly the largest ever to be unearthed in China's ruins. They found it in the central part of the number 3 ritual pit. From ear to ear, it measures 136 centimeters. The height is around 75 centimeters. This means that it was one of the largest events in the Shangzhou dynasties. And get this, the relic itself is believed to be thousands of years old, dating back to the kingdom of the Shu period. Now that's a pretty old mask. And there you have it. You never quite know what you're going to find when you start digging underground. If this list proves anything, it's that you should always expect the unexpected. Expect the worst, but hope for the best. And some people got the best out of this digging experiment. But for some, they sure did get the worst. In any case, we'll be back to bring you all the latest discoveries as always. And hey, don't be afraid to keep a shovel around.